Welcome to Dark Talk Gaming. So I'm showing you a well, one of my businesses. Uh, this business is called Amariah Design. So it sells artwork, artwork that I create on various products. So I, I program my own graphic design software called Amariah. Started uh, planning that uh, fall 2014. Took me about a year and a half to finish. Uh, <clears throat> compiled in C++. I programmed uh, advanced features in there that help me create art, like symmetrical drawing, some other features as well. I don't have anything on Patreon right now, uh, but yeah, coming to Amariah Design and buying something for your loved one, or even for yourself for Valentine's Day, that will contribute to the funds I have available to roll out this new IP, this new fantasy RPG board game universe. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that, but first I want to show the parts of some videos. Get woke, go broke, ladies and gentlemen. Hasbro reportedly looking to sell Dungeons and Dragons IP amidst continued financial struggles. Chinese owned Tencent among interested buyers. Yowza! That and have a lot of respect for Eric July. And, you know, I think the advantage that the independence, this is what's so fun about it, independence that, you know, if you play your cards right, you are you have an opportunity of a lifetime right now. And perhaps we don't get another one like this in, in our lifetimes where you have simultaneously two things going on. One, you have the technology and as well as just the general barrier of entry has been lowered. New ways to get um, funding new ways to create. I talked about, you know, crowdfunding. I've talked about, you know, the, again, these engines and how it's, it's, a, it's far more affordable to make cool things happen. Um, then it was not, it's not, it's not as impossible as it was. You didn't hit a ceiling like you used to. So you have that while you also have the people that have a lot of the money and have a significant amount of the, the market share doing stupid things. And in doing those stupid things, what they're what they're also doing is setting the scene up for the audience to consider other things that they would not have before. I will say this. Yep. Yeah, the the ground is ripe for sowing uh, creative ideas that because um, people people are looking to be entertained. People are looking for entertainment. Um, looking for something they can play with their friends. Uh, <clears throat> so, all right. So it's uh, going to be a hex-based board game. Uh, and it is going to be um, its own fantasy world, have its own separate rules, uh, gameplay elements, uh, magic, uh, leveling up. Uh, <clears throat> So you design your own characters, uh, there's equipment. Uh, so, you know, what do you do? You start with an idea, you start with an idea. I'm like, hey, I want this to be hex-based. I want to create something that, because I'm like, hey, I love Battletech. Uh, I'm an RPG fantasy fan also. And I decided I'm going to make something that's going to uh, combine elements of both. And I'm going to create my own universe from that and build up. So, uh, now <clears throat> this is an actual, from artwork I created. I had this is like an example of the artwork. I actually had this made. This is a physical product, had it made, uh, printed out. And I'm like, okay, so the hex is a little bit too big for my likeness. I'm going to have to lower that. But yeah, this is an example of the artwork on it. Um, this something was actually made that I had made. Uh, and so it came out really, really nice. Um, yeah. Um, I could probably use uh, help with getting the water to look like water, but you know, it's um, it's coming along. So, <clears throat> yeah, uh, and here's the title art for it. Uh, in the rule book, I have a very a different take on how vampires. I mean, it's it's along the same line as lore of vampires, but it's anyway. <laughs> It's a different take. I think uh, players will find it exciting, very interesting. Um, 
and uh, just the way combat's handled is different. Uh, so yeah, to have things be fun, exciting, different, have it make sense, uh, have it be intuitive, uh, and uh, an RPG world. And so yeah, it's um, it's ambitious. <laughs> like I said, I'm working on several projects. I'm an independent developer, have games on Steam, working on games, uh, programming software for a client, and um, running my uh, MRI design business. And now I'm doing this. So, and I've been working on this, the story, the background, the rules, everything for uh, about a year. Maybe a little bit over a year. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I already have the the um, this is the type of graphics you can expect for the board um, and um, <clears throat> uh, yeah I have the domain name I uh, have you know I have the name for the game already I have the domain name for the game I have the rule book copyrighted uh, and uh, <clears throat> And now I am uh, uh, look, you know, looking around to get uh, pieces uh, created, game pieces. Uh, and um, I might end up having to do that myself. I might end up having to uh, uh, <clears throat> acquire uh, the hardware to do that myself, like uh, 3D printing machines to do that. Um, but anyway, so uh, I'm excited about this, and yeah, th this is going to happen. So this is going to happen, uh, and I look forward to the next few months. Uh, I hope to come out and announce it, an official announcement, and say, all right, it's ready to be sold, and things, you know, people can start buying it and playing it and things like that. So stay tuned. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Another thing I would say is um, when you create something, don't be worried about if it's as good or as someone else who's been on the scene for years. Like, in, like if, you're wanting, if you have an idea and you're just creating something, don't try to compare it to um, other stuff. You're your own thing. You're, do your own thing. Your universe is your universe. Um, create, create things. Get them out there. And, um, you know, just follow your passion and make things happen. And this is the great time. This is the great time to do it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned. Have a great evening.